Dear children, and welcome to today's Bible story. We're back in Mark's Gospel this week with a, with a parable that's very well known. It's about a lamp and a basket. Now, Snappy has been up since very, very early this morning, and he's been rummaging through the craft cupboard looking for something to brighten his burrow, to brighten his crocodile house. And I think you found something, Snappy, didn't you? Ah, oh, yes, here we are. It's the finger lights from the light party. Children, I think you'll remember these. Of course, it's not light party time yet, um, Snappy, is it? Because the pumpkins are still very, very small in the gardens. But Snappy, I don't think you will take your lights. Put them back in your cardboard box. Close the lid and keep the lid shut, will you? I think you will put your lights where they can where they can shine, where they can be seen. Now there's, that's very similar to, to what's going on in today's story. In today's story we have a lamp, very similar to the ones used in Bible times. So this lamp will be a little clay lamp that will be filled with oil. People didn't have electricity in those times. They didn't have LED lights or um, street lights. Oil would have gone into one end of the, of the lamp and there would be a wick in the other. And the wick would soak up the oil and when somebody lit the end, the oil would burn for many hours until all the oil was gone. And that's how people would light their homes in Bible times. Also in the story, we have a basket. And it's quite a big basket. And it's called a bushel basket because it's a measuring basket. And in Bible times, you would have, to, you would have gone to the market and you would have perhaps bought um, a, a bushel of, um, a, say, um, uh, vegetables or a bushel of grain. And it would be measured in a basket. And so many, many homes would have had a basket very similar to this. So there we have it. We have a basket and we have a lamp. But I think, Snappy, we should go a little deeper with this story. Jesus taught the people in parables. That's a little story that reveals so much about God's kingdom. He would use everyday items like an oil lamp or a basket. We must remember in those days that light was very precious. People didn't come home and just flick a switch and the lights would come on. No, they would have to light a little oil lamp. They would set it as high in the room as they could, so the light would spread to every corner. But what a difference it would make to them. They would be able to come together, to share a meal, to tell stories. So Jesus told this parable. He said, would you bring a lamp into the house to put it under the bed or to hide it with a basket. No, you would put it on a lampstand. Jesus went on to say that everything that is hidden will be made clear and every secret will be made known. He wanted people to listen carefully to him, to hear him, to um, take his words deep into their hearts. Because as we do that, as we, as we spend time with Jesus and we listen to those words, our understanding of his kingdom grows and grows. And he will give us an even greater understanding of his kingdom as we spend time with him. And that's what Jesus wanted his people to do. Because, of course, this is not a parable about a little clay oil lamp. This is about the light that is Jesus, the light that has, that has come into the world. It will be known to everybody. It can't be hidden. The light must shine throughout the world. And as we spend time with Jesus and we talk about him to others, that light is just growing and growing and growing. The good news that Jesus brings is for everyone to know. Like a lamp on a lampstand, he shines for the world. 
And when we hear his words and we take them into our hearts and we love him, we share that light. We share the light that is Jesus. And we shine too. So let's sing our song. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning.